you take to the skies, it is vital to brief your crew and spectators on the following aspects. Orientation, safety and threats. Let's begin with the orientation. Find your location and determine what airspace you are currently in. For this example, we will use Cranfield Aviation Training. It is important to list your relative location to landmarks that can be referred to by other air traffic. This you will ascertain in your pre-site planning and you will physically point out the direction on site. You should also tell your crew about any nearby access roads in case of emergencies. Also point out where your operating area will be. Let's move on to the safety briefing. Now point out and mention locations and the checks that were completed for your fire extinguisher, first aid kit, this should be packed in accordance to the CAT 91, where your emergency response plan is located and where your emergency assembly point will be. Moving on to the threats. When evaluating threats in your area of operations, divide the area into high, medium and low level threats. High level threats will be low level traffic, your weather, mention what you see, clouds, visibility, windy conditions, birds in the area, and also your sun position. Medium level threats will be objects in your direct line of sight, such as trees, any electric fencing, wind socks, power lines, buildings, and any access roads around your area. Low level threats will be objects to the ground, like your safety zone, any terrain if there's any uneven ground or sloping, wildlife like snakes, lizards, bugs, or any vegetation that might cause an issue. Once you have completed your briefings and checks of your equipment and operational area, it is time to start the drone. Insert the battery and ensure you hear a click. Power on the battery pack. The drone will now go through its system checks as indicated by the flashing red, green and yellow lights. A double flashing green light means that the drone is connecting to GPS satellites. Only when you see a single flashing green light has the drone recorded its home point. Your final checks prior to takeoff should be the following. Check for a green light on the controller. Check for a single green flashing light on the drone. Check that your controller is in P mode and do a final check of the area to ensure nobody has entered your zone of operations. Assuming you've now done all your required radio calls, you can now shout taking off and take to the skies.